docks the whole length of the east and gulf coasts lie as idle as these in New York when 60,000 longshoremen stage a stunningly unexpected strike. The national economy loses $20 million each day the men stay away from work. At issue is a new contract, which union leaders as well as shippers and government mediators had found highly acceptable. One union spokesman, in fact, called it the best contract in the 72-year history of the union. After New York longshoremen had rejected the offer despite their leader's recommendation, there was no way to prevent the strike. Nor is there any indication of how long it will take for another balloting, nor that the result would be any different. The docker's rejection of the new contract seems to stem from fear of automation, just as in the prolonged strike two years ago that cost the country an estimated $1 billion. 